Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding a DocuSign delivery option to a DDP. Before you begin, you must have already installed EchoSign into Salesforce in addition to the Loop package. Once you are ready, navigate to the DDPs tab and enter in a list view of DDPs. Select the DDP you wish to add the delivery option to, and once you're in the DDP detail page, you must scroll down to the delivery options related list. Select the new delivery option button, which will initiate the type menu. Once you're in the new delivery option type menu, select the list and choose the echo sign option, then press continue. Then you'll be taken to the new delivery option edit page. Fill in all relevant fields to your use case. Some main fields to consider are auto send, which bypasses the echo sign agreement menu. The agreement name field, which becomes the name of your agreement and can be used later when creating a data mapping. Also, the message, which is included in the email of the EchoSign agreement. Also, for security purposes, you can decide to require a password when signing an EchoSign agreement and set some expirations if necessary. Once you're done editing the EchoSign delivery option, select Save, and you'll be taken to the Detail page. When you're in the delivery option detail page, scroll down to the recipients related list and begin adding your recipients. You may require one or several recipients. When you're in the recipient edit page, assign them a signing order, a role, make them required or unrequired, and then choose how the recipient will be selected. Best practice for the first recipient is a user selected contact. Once you are done, add more recipients as necessary, assigning them an order, role, and how the recipient is specified. Best practice for an org rep is to choose current user. Hit save when you're finished adding recipients. Once you're done adding recipients, your delivery option is essentially ready to deploy. Navigate to a record on your DDP object and push the loop plus button to get a good idea of what your delivery option will look like. Select the appropriate DDP in addition to a contact and the correct echo sign delivery option and your recipient should be defaulted in section 4 of the Visual Force page. And that is how you add an echo sign delivery option to a DDP. Thank you.